Making Learning Whole, How Seven Principles of Teaching Can Transform Education, by David N. Perkins is a thought-provoking exploration of the challenges and opportunities in modern education. Perkins, a renowned educator and researcher, introduces seven key principles for transforming the way we teach and learn. This literary analysis will delve into the book's core ideas, examining the impact of these principles on education. Perkins starts by highlighting the fragmented nature of traditional education, where students often perceive subjects as isolated entities with little connection to their daily lives. The first principle he introduces is, play the whole game, emphasizing that education should mirror real-world problem-solving. This means students should engage in activities that resemble the complex, integrated challenges they'll face as adults. By immersing students in the whole game, they gain a holistic understanding of the subject matter and its practical applications. The second principle, make the game worth playing, underscores the importance of engaging students by providing relevant, meaningful tasks. Perkins argues that education should appeal to students' intrinsic motivation and desire for purpose. When students see the value of what they're learning, they become active participants in their education. This principle advocates for student-centered learning, where their interests and goals are considered when designing curriculum. The third principle, work on the hard parts, suggests that students should tackle challenging aspects of a subject rather than just sticking to what's easy. Perkins encourages educators to guide students through difficult material, providing support and scaffolding. In doing so, students develop resilience, problem-solving skills, and a deeper comprehension of the subject matter. This principle promotes a growth mindset and a focus on mastery rather than mere surface-level understanding. Play out of town is the fourth principle, emphasizing the importance of exposing students to different contexts and applications of knowledge. Education should transcend the boundaries of the classroom, allowing students to apply what they've learned in various real-world situations. This principle encourages interdisciplinary learning and highlights the importance of transferring knowledge to unfamiliar scenarios. The fifth principle, learn from the team, promotes collaborative learning. Perkins argues that students can benefit from working together, harnessing the power of diverse perspectives and skills. Cooperative learning environments foster teamwork, communication, and a deeper understanding of the subject matter. This principle aligns with the modern workplace's emphasis on collaboration and interpersonal skills. Principle 6, Learn the Game of Learning, focuses on metacognition and reflection. Perkins suggests that students should become aware of their learning processes, enabling them to adapt and improve their approaches to learning. By understanding how they learn best, students become more independent and self-regulated learners. This principle instills lifelong learning skills, which are essential in a rapidly changing world. The final principle, Change the Game, calls for a continuous evolution of education. Perkins contends that educators should be open to innovation and adapt their teaching methods to meet the evolving needs of students and society. This principle reflects the need for a flexible and responsive educational system that can keep pace with the ever-changing demands of the 21st century. Throughout the book, Perkins reinforces these seven principles with real-world examples and practical advice for educators. He also acknowledges the challenges in implementing these principles, particularly in traditional educational settings that favor standardized testing and content-focused instruction. Making Learning Whole offers a comprehensive framework for transforming education. It challenges the conventional model of education, advocating for a more holistic, student-centered, and relevant approach. By emphasizing the integration of knowledge, meaningful engagement, resilience, real-world applications, collaboration, metacognition, and adaptability, 
Perkins provides a roadmap for improving educational outcomes and preparing students for success in an increasingly complex world. In conclusion, Making Learning Whole, by David N. Perkins is a significant contribution to the discourse on education reform. Perkins' seven principles provide a compelling vision for reshaping education to better meet the needs of students and society. This book is a must-read for educators, policymakers, and anyone interested in the future of learning. It challenges us to rethink our approach to education and work towards making learning whole.